time for the Q&A of Breakup Club. Please join me in welcoming back on stage, Barbara Wong. And um, this is uh, Lauren Chang also, producer. You like this now? So I have a question about the casting. Um, J.C. Chan, Fiona Sit are two of the most um, famous young actors. Um, what's the decision of casting them? Because some of you might not know, but according to the press in Hong Kong, they have a bit of a history, which might or might not be true. <laughs> okay, I'll let you answer. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'm going to take a photo. I'll take a photo. Yes. <laughs> Then you can answer. <laughs> what, what's the question? <laughs> oh, because Jay Z is not handsome, <laughs> and we need a not handsome guy uh, to be our to be our main cast because he's he's very plain, very common, and in fact, in Hong Kong, almost every young stars they are very handsome except Jay Z. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> and then, usually a not handsome guy got a beautiful girl, girlfriend. So we, we got Fiona. She's beautiful. That's why. That, uh, I got a beautiful wife. <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, oh, well, that's part of it. Um, another thing is, um, I, I've been hanging out with them. They're really close. So, um, and the chemistry to me is, they've done one film before together, which was like six years ago, and their acting is, uh, I would say, not so mature as now. But uh, I know them personally, and I know that the chemistry they have is uh, almost like uh, cannot be substituted. So, um, because I want to get this pair, you know, JC and Fiona, so we have postponed the shooting time for like three, four months just to wait for them so we can make the film together. So um, the film company is giving away three special breakup podcasts for the first three people ask a question. There they are. <laughs> <laughs> You're very fast. <laughs> um, can you talk about the ending? Can you explain the ending a bit more? Ending. The ending is an open end, <laughs> which actually uh, we have um, we have a couple endings. Uh, we have shot the different endings, but when I was um, editing the film, I decided that the uh, uh, open end, an open end, is the best because I think each audience um, have your own feelings towards different characters and have your own desire of. For example, some people really want Fiona to leave, go to Barcelona, don't ever come back. Some people want her, really want her to get back with Joe. So, so I decided that the open ending is the best. And um, also in this whole film, I would like to be more interactive with the audience. Like, uh, you know, so there's, that's why there's different turns um, and stuff like that. Open ending, it's because we need to do the sequel. <laughs> yes, that's why we have open ending. Then people will guess what's going to happen a few years from from the airport. <laughs> so that's what we are we are trying to uh, shoot the next sequel, the Breakup Club Two, coming soon. All right. Um, the other member at the top. Yeah. Yes. Uh, you said uh, before the film that you had broken up with your I'm assuming that's uh, not correct. Is that correct? Is that correct? <laughs> before the filming, I broke up. No, during the filming. Well, no, but I'm saying before the screening. Screening, yeah. Before the screening, you said that you had broken up with your boyfriend recently and found a new one. Is that true? Well, not yet, fun. <laughs> you can be. be. <laughs> <laughs> but that's a personal question, so. <laughs> so no cap. Why 
Well, this is also a very personal taste kind of thing because they were audience saying it's too short, the part. So uh, then I would just answer you, this is the, the right speed for me. <laughs> as a, a director and entertainer, yeah. The, 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 you know, in, in this, this film is a, a film that creates, how to say, creates a lot of discussion after watching it. Some people like this part, some people don't like this part, some people like this, so it, it's fun, you know. I, I, I like to have the audience uh, talk about it, a film after watching watching it, rather than, you know, where we're going to have dinner. Mm -hmm. No, it's just a time decision. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was not evident. And the Justin did take the hat, I'm sorry. Right? <laughs> 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 he took it for volunteers. So, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, it's very, it's very interesting to see um, um, movies, two movies, the filming. Of the making of the movie and special movie within it. And I, I found it a pretty interesting take to see you, know, you on the camera, you in the press meeting, and, and just the behind the scenes making of it as well as, as a, the actual movie itself. Thank you. That's my intention to uh, make the film like a doc, doc drama yeah. so that uh, audience is kind of. Uh, I think it's more interesting that way to, to watch a film and think it's that real. Especially for uh, people in Hong Kong, I would say, because people in Hong Kong um, recognize uh, Lawrence. And, I'm a uh, superstar back there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, as, uh, you know, uh, also also JC and Fiona, you know, it's on the magazine a lot saying that they have uh, been together and broke up and stuff like that. But that's not the reason why we casted them. Um, yes. Uh, when you were casting for Liaz's character, what like were you looking for particular particular qualities like in an actor when you were casting? Yes. What what? Uh, because uh, this uh, since I had this idea of doing a docudrama, so I need uh, an, a, a, the pair to uh, be very strong in improvisation. So number one, they have to be very close; they trust each other. Number two, uh, their acting style is not rigid. So I have worked with Fiona before. And she is very freestyle, you know, and every tick she can give you something different. And then, uh, so, but that's not so easy for the first couple of days. Uh, what, when we did rehearsal, we were not rehearsing in a conventional way. We were, uh, I, I gave them a DV camera and they just play around. And then I told them, you know, four days later when we do the shoot, that's what, that's all you have to do is to play around. And then in the first couple of days, it was very difficult for them because it, it's just very difficult to let go and to imagine that there's no camera around you because we do, we do have uh, 20, 40 people crew around, you know. And then the, for, uh, for our DP, it was very difficult because I let the actors improvise. I let them walk around as they like. And then uh, the DP who, you know, is like the ghost of JC, right? JC was <laughs> moving the camera, but the DP was next to him. You know, holding it. And then because he didn't know where JC was going, would be going, so he fell down many times on the street, in the apartment, because, you know, he had to also, well, at the same time he has to carry the camera and shoot him, at the same time he has to avoid the camera seeing himself, which not only the camera can see him, is that there's a lot of reflections everywhere. There's mirrors, there's windows, and stuff like that. So uh, the whole process is uh, a spontaneous process for the whole crew. We did it, you know, it's in, a, in a way we, we did it together. So it's a very uh, special experience for for us all. We only have time for one more, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Jackie Chan, you like actually do a movie. You seem to be kind of like a like, romantic movie a lot. So how did you cast him? Like, uh, like, were you looking for him to play the movie? Jason Chan? You mean JC? JC because he, his father is a is a Hong Kong star. You are right. So uh, because uh, uh, what what I'm saying right now is because we are looking for a not so handsome one, but with a great talent. Now uh, back in Hong Kong, the only one guy not so handsome is Chris Pine. Other than that, it's JC. So. It's a youngster movie, so we 
Thank you. Thanks for loving the movie. Thank you.